Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Grace back alongside you here with Edgar Lovecraft to my right. Edgar, how are you? I'm great, Tommy, and I feel so honored to be commentating this match at our third annual Boris Malenko Tribute Cup. Indeed, and this is a great match. As we can see here, my usual broadcast partner, Anthony Devlin, in the ring there with Ace Adams and the DWI Junior Champion Kirk Manning, who just completed a double clothesline there. And looked like he was going for a noggin knocker, but uh, his two opponents here, of course, uh, the co number one contenders in this feud. Uh, taking advantage of the situation here now. A couple hip tosses. Anthony Devlin in the white, uh, white tights, black boots. And Ace Adams all in black there. Uh, black is a very slimming color, Tommy. And it seems to be doing the job. Uh, of course, this feud has been ongoing here since February. Uh, just a, a bit of contention over who's going to Earn the shot at the DWI Junior Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Manning taking a rest outside involuntarily. And now we're uh, seeing Anthony Devlin and Ace Adams in the ring. Of course, Ace Adams is the largest of the men in this contest here. With a nice elbow to the face. I'm glad he's not... I'm glad he does not have a modeling career, Tommy. Or it would be ruined. I don't think there'd be much of a chance of that anyway. True. You see there, senior official Adam Reyes checking the situation, verifying that Adams does want to continue. Of course, uh, ending this match a minute 30 in would be a bit of an insult, but looks like Adams is trying to work his way back up to his feet here. Even the Russian assassins lasted longer than two minutes in most of his matches. Oh, didn't he get deported? Uh, we have not seen from anything from him in a little while here. Uh, hopefully we'll have an update on him soon. What was that, a one and a half? Ah, one count there, and Devlin kicks out. Uh, Manning's back appears to be injured there, uh, the way he's holding it, and walking around the ring trying to regain his composure there. Ow. And now Manning back in the ring here with a nice clothesline. Takes the big man, Ace Adams, down. Of course, Dirk did work very hard to finally achieve this title. Match against Preston Kane. Kick to the shins. That is one of the most painful maneuvers you can ever have done to you, as anyone who has ever babysitted before will attest. Indeed, you take one kick in the shins, you've got no muscle there on the front to protect it. And Anthony Devlin just very aggressive. He he wants to win. And I mean he could win this on raw athleticism alone. I've seen this man do things that human bodies shouldn't be able to do. Devlin with the raw agility and a uh, bit of ring smarts there. Holds onto the rope as Manning comes over. But Manning clotheslines Devlin over the top. Now Dirk Manning's fired up here. That's because Dirk Manning's not a chump. And well, Fireman's carry takes Adams over. Only gets a two count though. And now Manning beginning to work the submission holds here on the arm. My favorite hold, Tommy, the arm bar. Yours and Chris Jericho's both. And a, a nice roll through, but gets Adams a... I don't even know if that was a full one count. I believe I heard the hand hit two times. Oh, well, yeah. I was mistaken then. Uh, uh, did, did, I think Ace Adams very cleverly making his body go limp there using the sandbag defense. Yes, uh, it makes you much heavier and harder to lift. A lot of guys go tense when they get li lifted because they freak out because they're up in the air. So, smart move on uh, Ace Adams' part there. Diva Manning's the only one standing in the ring right now. Just grabbed a piece of the tape there and uh, threw that out. Of course, we saw that a little bit earlier on Adams' arm. Don't tell me he's going to... Oh, oh went for the baseball slide and... Uh, ooh, got a little caught up there. It's a good thing I've heard he's not looking to have any children anytime soon. I don't know if the world is prepared for that, Tommy. Now we see Anthony Devlin going up top here. Oh, Devlin with a big cross body onto these men. That could have ended badly. But it ended well for Devlin, so... Why, why is... I didn't think there was a count out in this match. 
Well, if you've got all the men outside, the referee's got to maintain some semblance of Ow. ADT, some semblance of order. This could be over for Ace Adams. Now, fortunately for Adams, we got the padding around the ring now. And Manning is tied up in the ropes here. Ooh. This could be night-night time for the champion. Nice over-the-top senton. Is that what that's called? Indeed it is. Now we see Devlin's got a lot of ground to cover here if he's going to do what I think he's going to do. And he and does. It's good. The elbow drop. That, that had to have gone 12 feet. Manning, very lucky to kick out here. As I was saying, Anthony Devlin, just raw athleticism alone can win him this match. His, his technical skill on top of that, that makes him pretty dangerous here. And again, a Manning kick out there on two and a half. Well, it's like I've said before, Tommy, maybe not maybe not on uh, commentary, but I've said it. It doesn't matter how big the monster under your bed is. It's the monster inside your head that matters. And right now, Anthony Devlin looks to be getting inside the head of these guys, of these just bigger guys. Oh, Ow. Manning misses, or Manning rolls out of the way. Devlin misses there. Ooh, no, he, he, I think he might have hurt his MCL there. That uh, did not look pretty. Devlin looked like he realized that Manning was rolling out of the way and maybe tried to catch himself there and landed on the one, one leg. Well, I suppose that's better than landing on your noggin. Speaking of noggins, Ace Adams uh, seems to have recovered. Yeah, no, All three men back in the ring now. Adams still biding his time over there. Very smart move on his part. Manny with the clothesline into the ropes. Devlin is down on his rear end. Maybe Adams wasn't resting and he's still looping. Ooh. Uh, Manning calls for the penalty kick and delivers. Hmm. A nice, uh, nice pull. And it didn't look like it connected all the way, Tommy, but it, it, it seems to have distracted Manning enough. That we've got a, a double hold here going on. I'm surprised. I think uh, Adams might have been gold breaking a bit there. Yeah. And oh, double chin breaker! Wow. I don't. Yeah, I don't think Adams knows where he is right now. No, at times he seems very elusive. The rest of the time he seems like he doesn't even realize he's in a wrestling ring. No. Tommy, if this ends in count out, I am going to be very disappointed. I don't think that's going to happen here. That's good. The heart on these men, and the desire to hold the gold, is going to get them to their feet. We see Manning driving Devlin into the corner. There's three shoulders, and now, oh, delivers one to Adams. Running shoulder. Huh, foot choke. I, I, I don't normally see that from... Uh, Dirk, has he uh, been doing that lately? Or uh, no, he perhaps he's frustrated. Ooh, nice now suplex there. That was. Oh, only two. We got Germaned once. Landed on my kidney. Really hurt. <laughs> Ooh, Ace Adams' is, uh, dome piece has taken uh, quite a good bit of damage in this match, Tommy. Got the suplex here. Chop is down for one, two, and no. Adams breaks at the pin. See, this is where three-way matches get complicated because you can have the other guy beat, and then you just get stomped or kicked from somebody else. It's very frustrating. You saw there the belly to belly. Now we got that one down for two. And again, I, trading two counts here. It looks like Devin was trying to roll Ace Adams over, but just couldn't quite muster the, the strength up to get him over. Oh, wrestling is a leverage game. Dirk Manning back in control. 
Oh, look at the punch what it did to Devlin. Ooh. That was no turkey, Tommy. That was a straight ham. Uh, now the man with the mullet is uh, going over there. So he's got Devlin. Oh, double action. Well, Devlin is out of the ring. Oh, that. Ooh. Oh. I, I hope he can still stand after that. He, he looked like he landed on his hip there, almost caught his knee on the outside of the ring. Now, man, going up top. Oh, it gets a rope shaking on there. Now he's hung up. Definitely going over, grabbing the mullet. Oh, and just pulls Manning into the turnbuckle. Now, what's Devlin going to do from right here? Ace Adams charges in. Anthony Devlin just not having a lot of luck right now. Oh, this does not look good. Oh, oh, whoa. What is this? Kirk Manning. Oh, that was impressive. I knew he was serious about his new workout regime, Tommy, but not that serious. Showing the excellent strength of the shoulders and upper body there. Yep. Crowd firmly behind Dirk Manning. He is out. Chin breaker to Ace Adams here. Oh, oh, this could be oh. it, Tommy. Manning's got the Anaconda device locked in. Wow. You hear Manning going a little wild here, screaming. Well, that's Dirk Manning. He's wild, he's crazy, and he is not a chump. And the referee's calling for the bell. We have a submission here, I believe. My favorite kind. My favorite way to end a match, Tommy. D Dirk definitely deserved this victory, Tommy. He, uh... Yeah, he fought hard against two other men that that wanted it just as bad, but I think Dirk Manning proved he wanted it just a little bit more. He did, and Champ is now on his feet there with his belt in his hands. Your winner, Dirk Manning, by submission. Very, uh, very beaten and tired champion, but uh, just like White Snake here, he goes again on his own. Well, that's going to do it for us for right now. Up next, we've got our main event coming up. Andreas Rossi versus Ray Ayala. Make sure you stick around.